May the Lord be with you and God's blessings on your day. It makes me smile when I think about some of the times we're in our the home of one of our kids and we have a kids bunch of grandkids there and how often it seems that um, sometimes strength means noise. Big noise. The littlest one will have to make the most noise to get their point across, to get their needs made known. And how often that is in life, isn't it? That the loudest wins, the roughest reigns, the strongest succeed. And that's there are times, of course, when that's the way it is and can even be okay. But, but God has something different to, to say to you and to me today. And it comes to us from the prophecy one of the major prophets, comes to us from the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 15. Just a portion of verse 15 um, of Isaiah, chapter 30. For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and trust shall be your strength. I love the encouragement of just this small promise of God. Well, not small, but, but short, brief promise in the midst of Isaiah telling people how wrong they are, how much they've gone astray, how great their sin is, and yet still the God, the Holy One, the Lord God of Israel is saying in returning, Oh, also translated as repentance. In repentance and rest, you'll be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. I think this is a good reminder for you and for me day by day. That getting quiet before the Lord. Coming to Him in quiet times of repentance, of peace, of trust, those are the times that he is able then to re-strengthen us because we do sin and we do have need of a Savior and we go our own way and our lives can get just downright noisy with ourselves, trying to be at the center, trying to get the attention, trying to rule or reign. So, God's word today comes to you and to me as a call to repentance, a call to the returning to the foot of the cross, a call to remember anew that Christ is our Savior and that we rest in Him and that His love, quiet, steady, endless, undeserved, unconditional love is ours. It's his gift to us, his gift of grace. And so as we return to that again and again, and today perhaps quietly, remembering that, we're, that we are saved, rejoicing to know that as we quiet ourselves in the presence of the Lord, we're saved. We find rest. We continue to trust in his love and in his presence. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your promise that you are holding on to us now, that underneath us are your everlasting arms. This day, we would quiet ourselves before you in returning, in repentance, and in quiet trust that you are loving us, that you are guiding us, that you are blessing us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God's rich blessings to you this day. We'll see you again.